In this screencast I'll show you how to follow trends in real time for your simulation. So if we go over again to the Types tab under References and click Trend, we can put that onto the flow sheet. I'll we'll just call this Flow, click OK. And then if we double click on this icon, we can actually put something in here that's going to be monitored. If we double click on the Control Valve, or actually on Stream S2, that would be better. And then we can click on this value here. And then if we look back in here, we've actually got S2.w, click add, and then that's that mass flow rate's going to be monitored over time. Close this, start to run the simulation again, and then we should be able to monitor over time what's happening to the flow rate in stream S2 and we can see a line starting to appear. If we close the control valve down to 50% click OK and have a look at what happens here we can see that the mass flow rate immediately drops down because we've closed the control valve to 50% and the, the flow rate has changed. And that is how you can monitor changes in real time but actually seeing the trend graphically.